Freddy? Yeah? That was not restful. Yeah, it wasn't, was it? You've got a noisy mistress here. Ugh. Stop! Stop, What's, don't do that. What's wrong with it? Uh, so there's a common problem on McLaren's where I think the latch or something in the door goes bad and it thinks it's closed, but it's actually open or it's open and it thinks it's closed. And uh, oh. it... it <laughs> there you go. That's for you. What is it? Did you guys leave this here? No. What does it say? No. Did you, did you write? Did you actually write no, that's got uh, female handwriting. Uh, okay. Uh, please fix your car alarm or park in back. Thanks. Those the alarm kept awake and woke up. That's the nicest letter a woman's wrote you in a very long time, huh? I mean, this, this, yeah, Karen. This is, uh, this has been one of them. They, they're just they're just hating. So, what does it take to make that not happen tonight? I I don't I I don't I, I know honestly how do not. I just to disconnect the battery in this. We're not doing that tonight. So, fix the door call. I need caffeine. Lots and lots. <laughs> Honestly, who needs rest when you get to hop into cars like these? Auto Tempest and the Ticket Clinic had sent us to Car Week and we weren't going to let anything or anyone ruin our time. While Freddie wrenched away on his McLaren, Tyler and I went to visit a good friend of mine, the Cultivated Collector. He hadn't been available the day before for our car swap, but he had invited us by to show us a couple of his favorite cars. Is this real? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Way better than a Carrera GT, right? Oh my god. And? Is it hammer time? It's hammer time! It, it's a real hammer. <laughs> Six liter, four cam, pre-merger. I saw three 812s this morning outside of the local Starbucks, which should only mean one thing. Uh, so, if I were to buy a 275 GTB four cam, this car, you would not be a self-indulgent wiener, sir. You would be a connoisseur. Yes! yes. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Tyler Hoover, Matthew Ivanhoe, the cultivated collector, with a couple of his toys. I'm not worthy. <laughs> I'm not worthy. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Thank you for having us. These are obviously really having, as you would say, a moment in the market. Some very so, impressive recent sales. Certainly. And this one fresh from Japan. Would you mind if we took them around the block? By all means. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was uh, uh, that was some fight. That right was a connoisseur there. move. Uh, oh, yes. oh, start with the Ferrari. That sounds great. Let's do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please, um, let me just. Oh, easy, oh, easy. Man, oh, I'll oh. no, kiss your feet. I don't. I know we just met, but <laughs> but gratitude um, comes in many forward. forms. I, yes. Your feet smell good. Oh. oh okay. Okay. All right. We'll all keep right. them in one piece or two pieces, right. as the case may be. All right. All right. Well, go enjoy, gentlemen. Oh, oh. boy. Oh, it still smells like a Ferrari. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we doing this? I think we are. Or are we really doing this? It's gonna sound so good. Here we go. Okay. And we are driving it. There we go. In the three million dollar car. Yeah. yeah, much more than a beautifully restored Countach, much more than any Carrera GT, even if it were paint to yeah. sample. This is uh, baller status and a half. Yes. 67,000 kilometers. Yes, and I am seeing a red line of 7,500 RPM in a car this old. Oh my goodness. All right, you ready? I'm ready. And listen to that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Whee. That's that's plenty of power. I mean, oh, it's that's crazy. crazy. Absolutely. Freddie can talk all he wants about his turbos. Naturally aspirated 12-cylinder engines is where it is at. Yep. It's everything I love in a car. I mean, a big, powerful, racing-inspired engine, but then it's a soft, comfortable GT car that is drop-dead gorgeous. It feels like a car you want to get on a highway oh, yeah. and just never stop. Wow. And now it's warmed up. Now it's over. Now it's over, <laughs> alas, until oh. we can buy our own 275 Connoisseur cars. But you know what that means? Hammer it's time. hammer time! 
Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Can't touch this. So, full disclosure, I knew that this would probably be an issue. So I got a spare door latch. This is a brand new door latch from McLaren, has soft clothes and everything, and this should actually work. What I didn't think about was actually bringing the tools to install this, but I figured since we're staying at an Airbnb and this is a house in a garage, uh, I, I figured there's probably tools. Some vice grips, a bunch of pliers, screwdriver, Anything else? No. So I am going to take apart a McLaren with some tools I found in a stranger's garage. This this is gonna be this is gonna be expensive. I'm gonna break something. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> this thing is great. You remember the car and driver magazines where these cars were just slaying everything? Yes. I mean, that is our childhood mm -hmm. in automotive journalism is essentially the heralding of hammer time. And we're driving one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This isn't worth a gazillion dollars, but these things are going nuts right now. And it is a coupe, which is more desirable, yeah. I think, than a sedan. There's only 12, maybe 13 US cars, and one of them just sold for a little shy of $800,000. <laughs> so if you bend this right now, that's like 10% of the car is gone. Well, that makes them really hard to total. I mean, anytime a car like this is worth so much money, you really can't total it. Mm -hmm. So we probably ought to crash it. Go for it. Oh, you need to use this. All right. You're not you're not too familiar with these old things, are you? Not a whole lot. All right. So, so there's the gotta... click. You click that. Okay. That puts it in first. There it is. Then you slap shift it. There you go. Wow. Otherwise, it won't kick down. That's it's a weird. True. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, for its mm -hmm. age and for how smooth the power delivers, very very impressive. Well, Ed, you've just made two of my childhood dreams come true. Oh, nope. I'm vibrating. I think I'm getting a text. The text is probably gonna put us back in those <laughs> hunks it's of junk. It's gonna be part of it. <laughs> oh. We hope that you've enjoyed the chance to drive some more valuable cars than yours, but now it's time to see where your cars can actually fit in. Your challenge is to get your cars into the most prestigious show during car week that you can. Okay. Well, where does the worst Ferrari 458 <laughs> ever go? So in order to get this all out, you just take apart the interior of your uh, very expensive automobile. Don't break it. Just pull real hard. Okay. That's all good. Let's put that down. That was expensive. Uh, Huh. I was off to a car week celebration of the Germans. And we all know that things get even better when the Germans and the Italians join forces, right? Well, maybe not all the time, but in the case of my R8, they were going to love it. Here at Monterey Car Week, there are a lot of amazing events, but today we are at the Legends of the Autobahn. And certainly if you're blasting along with no speed limit in your Volkswagen rental car or whatever, this is exactly what you wanna see blowing by in your side view mirror. They put my Audi R8 in a very prominent location because if you look around, most of the cars are white, black, silver, not many orange cars. Obviously this one is sporting its Lamborghini heritage with its V10 and standing out in this crowd of some very impressive cars. So let's walk around and see what we can find. My R8 had found its home at Legends of the Autobahn, but where do you take a high mile hoopty Ferrari during car week? 
There was really only one possibility, and Tyler was headed right there. Take a look at this. Farrah Fawcett in the bed, the shag. It's incredible. A Bricklin? I actually had one of these sort of catch fire on me. Oh, that's such a hoopty. That is awesome. This is one of my favorite shows at Monterey Car Week. These are my cars. These are my people. Uh, my car may not be the best fit for this, but maybe we'll get an award. Maybe I'll get lucky. Let's go to the ceremony. You too can win an award at the Concordia Le Mans if you have one of the <laughs> highest mileage salvage Ferraris uh, on the planet and are uh, willing to um, willing to share it with everybody and uh and bring it out and ship so sorry i'm so sorry oh, okay hello <laughs> Peyton, where are you going to be at three? I just, I just broke the Concord of Lemons. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sir, it's, it's, what, is, what is your name? My name's Tyler Hoover. <laughs> yes, and you're, what do you have here with us today? It's a 2013 Ferrari 458. It was probably an X-Track rental that was wrecked into a ditch, almost 90,000 miles, uh, repainted with a broom. But are you confident in this car? Or can you take it anywhere? Sure, yeah. I don't think so. I, I, oh. I, don't, I don't think that this car is going to make it too much further. So for that, we have decided to award you the Haggerty's Driving on a Prayer Award. Oh. Well, thank you. Sir, I got something. All right, thank you very much. And thanks for destroying our I, I just... The car didn't break, but I broke your, your yes, events. Indeed. So, yeah, sorry about that. Ferrari owner. Try not to run over anybody or leave any parts behind on oh, your way out. I appreciate it. Thank okay, you again. Thank you. All right. Have fun. So sorry. I win. I win. It's, it's an unjustified award because this thing's very reliable, but I'll take it. I win. All right. Excuse me. I've already ruined something. Driving on a prayer. <laughs> So now I have four 13 millimeter bolts that we don't have 13 millimeter sockets on. You think I'm the only guy that's working on his McLaren right now in Car Week? I feel like we're pioneering right now. I need tools. Mike. For real. I don't, I don't see this coming off. <sighs> For Tyler and I, the day kept getting better. You might assume that the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance is the hottest event in town, but you would be wrong. It is the quail. Here we are. Let's look around. Tyler and I had our passes, and this was truly car guy heaven. Such a shame that Freddie couldn't join us. So that is our nemesis in this series. Would you rather have that than your 458? No. I wouldn't rather have it than my Audi. It's, it's overdone. I mean, the C8 originally was overdone, and now it's, it's too much. But there's somebody that did order that. There is somebody. But he's not here. No, he isn't. He didn't make it. Okay. After some serious MacGyvering, Freddy had the 675 back on the road. And he got this wild idea that he was going to join us at the quail and actually get his car on the field. Clearly that takes more than good looks, some charm, and a smile, and even though Freddie didn't have any of those, his car might have qualified if he had actually done any planning. You need a green pass to come in, man. Oh, is, that, is, is, is this how you get into the quail? There's various ways, but you need that green pass. Okay, so do you, have to, you, do you have to pay for that or what? I don't know. Okay, so I... All I know is come here and open, you don't have a green pass, you can't come in. 
Okay, so I can't, I can't, I can't come in. Okay. All right. Just watch your right side and accelerate forward. Oh, okay. Uh, they won't, they won't let me in. I brought a car to Car Week. It's a, it's a popular event. And that guy just turned me down. I mean, you saw the car. Well, yeah. it's almost over. Yeah, no yes. fretting. What a shame. Oh well. I guess we can meet up somewhere outside of this particular cement that you could knock it into, obviously. On the pretty side of the wall. Mm -hmm. After we finished rubbing our elbows with car culture nobility at the Quail, we texted Freddy to meet us at Cannery Row for our next challenge. Forget the judges of these highfalutin events, which of our Corvette-priced salvage supercars would appeal to the people on the streets of Car Week? Freddy, your door is still not right. You dare complain? How dare, yeah, I know, it's, it's broken, it's fine. But we're at Car Week. This is Cannery Row, the legendary space where Car Week sort of began and then left. Pebble Beach is really the concour, of mm. course, which nobody ever goes to. But uh, it's chilly. this is the place to go and flex with your supercar. Which we sure. are doing. Yes. That, and I'm Auto flexing. Tempest has challenged us to find out which of our cars the people of Car Week would most like to drive home today. Oh, that's going to... Really? Is that, that's not even a challenge. Is it going to handicap based on how much we have invested in the cars? No. Because, we don't need a handicap. No. I mean, if they want to actually get to their destination, it's an easy choice. Oh, yeah. Practicality is what you want in a supercar. Not getting stranded. I mean, how many cars have we driven by on the way here that are broken down on the side of the road? And I bet you many. most people would want to be in those cars instead of that. No, they want the R8. Well, let's ask them. Nobody's coming forward. They're scared of us. Yeah. Sir, sir. Oh, hi. Can I ask you a question? A little bit of profiling here because he just came out of the Italian restaurant, uh, but come on over. So if you had the choice to own one of these three cars, which one would it be and why would it be the McLaren? Um, so, if each of these three supercars just happen to have the keys in the ignition or in the console, since they don't really have ignitions, and you got to pick one with the lenient California Grand Theft Auto laws, which one would you take home today? Three cars here, colorful as Skittles. Which Skittle would you eat? That's a tough question. Uh, I'd probably take the R8. Yes! Since high school, I've, I, ever since I see an R8. That's it. I'm in love with it. Iron Man had one, you gotta have one too. Well, auto theft is real, so you can't have it today, but thank you so much for your <laughs> time. You. Appreciate it. In all honesty, I would love to own the 695 LT. Let me go find a Ferrari fan. Yes. I'm not a big fan of Ferrari because I feel like they don't like their own customers. And their owners are just terrible people. The Ferrari. <sighs> But but really though you'd want the Audi, right? I'd take the Audi. That's what I'm talking about. One for the Audi. Thank you, sir. Why, why is the Audi bad? I'm not a fan of the color. See, you made the right decision. Thank you so much. All right, this is this is easy. This is super easy. Hi, can I ask you a question? I promise I'm not a creep. I'm not I'm not a serial killer or anything. But I have three cars parked here. If you had to pick one, which one would it be? The McLaren. Go away. <laughs> I would definitely pick the red Ferrari. Ooh, the red, not the best choice, but I can understand that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy your time. Don't get run over. Probably the McLaren. Do we need anything else? Uh, obviously, it's the right choice. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Well, I don't think there's any point in continuing this because if you spend $250,000 on a bazooka and bring it to a $100,000 gunfight, you're gonna win. Tyler, this is clearly the right car for this area. You spent more in parts than what we paid for either of our cars. Okay. It, it's not fair. I'm no. Tyler Hoover and I bought the wrong car. Hold on, hold well, on. I actually wasn't that far I'm behind you with a car that I spent like less than 100 grand on. Yeah, I, oh, you'll, you'll, one. you'll I like this one. one. Freddie, you may have bought yourself this win, but that won't work the next time. That is not what it says. Head to this address where all of your cars will be appraised, and the one of you that's made the wisest financial decision will be the victor. 
I, I'm I mean, aware this is clearly heavy. me. That, yeah. Absolutely. We don't not. even need to do this anymore. That's not, no, we need to. This Car is going to be over. fun. All right, we got the address. I'll text it to you. appraise some cars and I have just the car to appraise for you. This is a 2016 McLaren 675 LT. It used to be red, now it's blue. It used to have no roof scoop, now it has a roof scoop and a completely custom interior that is an homage to a McLaren F1. It has blue tinted carbon fiber that's gloss, not matte by the way, and it has bigger turbos. It makes around 750 horsepower and it is really, really, really good looking. It's also about the worst one wrecked ever to ever be rebuilt. It shouldn't have been fixed. It's been a problem this entire time. It's not. Only one door works. Both it, doors work. It wakes you up in the middle of the night with its alarm. That was last, that was, it's fixed now, it's oh. fine. It being a McLaren, that means it cannot be trusted. But we all celebrate driving our cars together and that means that the perfect car is this, a 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. You're hearing hurricanes screaming all over Monterey right now, and this one is wonderful. It's dirty because it's been used much more than this car, much more than that car. We all want to be able to drive wherever we want, and this is the car that you can depend on. Where's the roof scoop? It doesn't need a roof Where's scoop. Where's the turbos? No, it's just wife's car. car. It works, it's fun. dependable, it's wonderful. Is yeah. this your wife's car? You've just put them all to sleep. <laughs> You've put them all to sleep, they're bored. Let's wake you all up with a 2013 Ferrari 458 Spider. Ooh. Now this one's interesting. It has almost 90,000 miles on it. A daily driven exotic. And it has that. been wrecked. Some of you have wrecked a 458, I believe. And some of you have wow, repaired what? a 458 before. Oh. Um, Ooh, so you all are very yeah. familiar with this car. You know how fantastic they are. Is it Modern a tinted classic. windscreen so no one can see you in it? <laughs> and a steel brake conversion too. It, oh, yeah. so the it on. may or may not have been a track rental, hence the uh, brake conversion. Uh, it's had a very interesting life, let's say, but it is uh -huh. an instant classic, the 458, one of the best Ferraris ever. How many miles does it have, Tyler? I said it was 90,000 miles. It's a daily driven exotic. You guys should appreciate that. I actually yeah. respect that a lot. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's well, actually really cool. 90,000 miles. When are you going to hit 100? Uh, Never. That's because it will either blow up or he will sell it to somebody who tries to garage clean it somehow. But you guys can now come together, appoint a foreman of our jury, and you guys can tell us what you think each of these cars is worth. And whoever has made the wisest financial decision relative to our investment in them That's will me. win. Yeah. Oh, it's me. Win the car? <laughs> This, yep. this challenge. This challenge. <laughs> yeah. So we'll leave you alone with them. All right, guys. Yeah, start with the McLaren. All right, boys, 2016, 6 and 5 LT. What's the value of this thing? Well, first of all, David, I noticed there's a roof scoop, but there are no louvered fenders. There's not. So I'm going to deduct some points for that. It's dollars, not points. Well, <laughs> dollars would be the equivalent of points here. The caps are missing from the wiper. That's janky. There, no are, there are no pieces of trim anywhere. This is. I reckon, judging by the panel it. gap of the windscreen, he's probably mm -hmm. hoping it's not going to rain. Yeah. So, no louvered fenders, no exposed carbon wing. Are these yeah. actual 6M5LT wheels? They do look. They good. are. They are, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, who wants to start it? I'll let you know right now, I'm not going to fit in that seat. James, oh. you start it. As, as the European, I will... Uh, <laughs> and small P1 seat. Three, two, one. Hey! No. Wow. You got love that school, man. That sounds good. Got it? Kill it. Huddle in, let's get a number. Let's get a number. Okay. Yeah. Time for an R8. Yeah. How exciting, guys. Oh, boys, 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 boys. I'm more concerned why every window is that good. He's got something good. to hide in here. That guy right there. What the is going on? Uh, a queen bee to go through. That's <laughs> a queen bee. Yeah. You guys, it's actually okay. Come on, look at the it's engine okay. in the back. This yeah. Is, yeah, let's car pop this. Open this. Who's got the keys? We need to open this. We're missing the supercharger. We're missing turbos. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is a V10. The tent owners. It is a tent. Okay. Oh, this is not a salvage pedal car. 
Oh, it's they clean. It's salvaged? But it's Ed. It, it probably has been flooded knowing Ed. It's being yeah. driven hard. Okay, let's see right. the inside. All right. The interior is really clean. It's, it's good. It's all factory. It's just really basic as an R8 would be. What's the miles? Have we got the miles yet? Yeah, it's uh, 59,999. Like 60K. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, this is the worst thing you can do. I absolutely hate tinted taillights. Yeah, no, they're, they're that really just cost them $20,000. Yep, speaking of $20,000, the brakes, they're steel. I didn't know you could get a 458 with steel brakes. You cannot, that's the key. Also, this has got satin PPF, it's not a wrap. This is no, I think it wasn't satin, I think it's satin from the sun destroying it. So you can see the bubbling over there. <laughs> oh, shoot, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Have you seen the seat yet? Uh, guys, this is the roughest of all the cars here so far. Pop the bonnet. Oh, the bonnet. Come on, boys. Oh, Pop wow. The bonnet. Oh, look. look at those there intakes. it is. Wow, it's there actually it's pretty cool. Totally in it's not a swap, so that's good. This is oh, a tired 458. Yeah. Let's, I've got the key. How Let's start this up. up. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's in the trunk. Is this luggage? There's a lot of underwear in there. What are you looking for? That's clean now. now. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Nice. What's the value, boys? So sorry, any check engine lights? 88,000. 88,000 miles. Wow. That's good. Sounds, Sounds great. Sounds good. Okay, wow. try the roof. Let's see if the roof oh, yeah, mechanism actually works. Good call. Thank you. All right. be down for a they reason. Oh, he just, just oh, break the switch? No. He just broke the switch! <laughs> oh, no! Can you believe that just ripped off? No. That was a $1,000 switch right there. Yeah, okay, okay. We go. we're going, we're going. This is important. Oh, this, is this is promising. This is promising. It's good. All right. Wow. Okay. okay. Fair enough. No. Oh. Yeah. But there is a are nasty you, rattle coming. Are from you the hearing department. that? Take a listen. Something's not too happy back here. It's got to be that valve it's trying cool exhaust. Tips. Maybe motor mounts. It seems like it's got some excessive shaking. Like For a loud. Ferrari, you're probably right. Something, something's not right. All right, boys, let's come huddle on the front and chat business. Still on the switch. <laughs> That's a souvenir. Put that right there. Like a proper gentleman. There we go. It's not a theft now. All right. All right. Bring it in. Okay, boys, we have a price for the 675 LT, the RA, his wife's car, and the poor man 458. We do. Let's, Let's do it. All right, budget YouTubers, get back here. Let's chat. What did so you guys do to these cars? <laughs> I made it better. Yeah, sorry. I actually made the Ferrari a little bit lighter. Oh, you know, thank you. Oh, that came off the price. I accounted for that. That's a speciality. $1. Yeah. 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 Okay, who's up for a 675 LT? My man? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so there's a few things we didn't like. All right, it's been a minor accident. No. Small. Frame Small. damage, Small. carbon fiber, things like that. It has a custom interior. Mm -hmm. We're missing some caps and the wiper blades. The price we came up with was $199,000 even. $199. <laughs> <laughs> and you have spent, and you have spent on it, $241,000. Mm. So uh -oh. that was Canadian a or USD? bad, no, uh, no. Uh, that's, that's, that's real US. money. US, US real has money, spent $241,000. Did, uh. did you see the roof scoop? It, the, it gets the air from the roof. The pair that bypasses the <laughs> trim pieces that are missing that slides right into the cabin. No, it's all plumbed into the engine. So we've shown that Freddie has made a terrible financial decision oh, with his next. entire life. Oh, just How about my Audi? Wait. Okay, so oh. it's basically a stock Audi R8 with a wrap and an exhaust on it, high miles. We feel there's some secrets behind it. The wrap's probably covering something. After many hours of chatting and deliberation, the price we came up with, and it's a health, it's a healthy offer. Fifty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> $159,000? No. $59,000. Yeah. I don't think you get to buy a 2017 V10 Plus R8 for that, but
bazillion of them. Is this true? That you is bought true. it in the height of car prices, and now we're in a recession. Crash That's right. Had a great deal. It has 60,000 miles yet. on it. Not yet. And it's owned by you. <laughs> That's a, That, I can concede, is an issue. But it cannot be any worse than this. You ready for Tyler? Yes. We have a 458. Yeah. It's been through some stuff. Yep. It's been some time in Vegas, it looks like. Yeah. It has like 90,000 miles. The PPF's been baked in the sun for the past 10 years. For some reason, it has steel brakes. Actually, I just did the wrap, but okay. Yes, it has steel brakes. <laughs> you just did that? Yeah. yeah. That was did that on Mars. What's the name? Rosso of Corso. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Rosso Destroido. <laughs> well, it, it, the wrap is hiding things. I yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm genuinely sorry. Thought that was a mistake. <laughs> but what the f happened in the interior? <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, it's what happens in Vegas, man. You know, it's just it's a thing. It would and glow then the, the black light. missing for the sunroof. Well, that's a big one. Okay, I was glue that back. So on. we had the perfect number to appeal to Facebook Marketplace, which is the only place you're going to sell this if you're lucky. $123,456. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Pick for wow. attention. You what did you buy this for? Hire expert. Are any you going to take more than this? I, for that. I bought it for $99,999. Oh, yes. And I, I spent Wait. like less than 10 fixing what? it. The dumbest Wait. automotive channel on YouTube actually spent money has on this just thing? mastered the art of you, car buying. You made money on this? I applaud you, sir. Wow. It's pretty I good. Applaud you. So you do Thank stuff. you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, I applaud you. This is unfair. This is not has a roof scoop. No one cares no, about you. I do. Oh, my God. No one. The internet does. Gentlemen, well, thank them. you all so very Our much. Uh, we can't necessarily commend your financial acumen. We definitely do appreciate your expertise. Enjoy Car Week. Tyler Wynn's doing the ad thing. It's, it, we're going to just I let them have that one. I'm not, I, I don't think they're at any risk of owning any like R8s anytime soon. I really, soon. really no, don't no, like no, this. No, no, that's my <laughs> This is souvenir. Give it to him. These so-called influencers had diminished the value of my car almost as much as my supply of Sour Patch Kids. It might not be the most exciting supercar in the block, but I knew I would eventually reap some kind of profit off of my very sound $135,000 investment. Regardless, Car Week was coming to a close, as were our challenges from Auto Tempest. It was time to look back on another amazing adventure with some incredible cars. The thing about Car Week, though, is that if you get too distracted by the cars, you just might miss the scenery. And that would be quite a shame because this place is truly breathtaking. So guys, what do you think of Car Week? It's the well, place to be. You know, it's uh, chillier than I thought, and also uh, I didn't get into any uh, fancy events. Well, you do have to sort of plan things in advance, sign up. There are a lot of people here, a lot of cars. You can't just show up, Freddie. So you're telling me you planned all the things that we did? Well, I got my own tickets to the quail. Th thank that. you for getting me some, too. Well, you know, we figured you'd take care of it yourself. But you made it to a finish line you in a did. car that you built from crashed on every single side. Amazing. Yeah, Freddie, great job. I mean, two years of blood, sweat, tears, piles of money, and you have built an amazing car. Well, I am horrible at taking compliments, but thank you. Um, it really was a lot of work, and I think this trip has cemented in my brain that I want to keep that car forever. One, because I don't think I can sell it to anybody ever, <laughs> uh, but two, because I, I, I could never replicate that. I can I could never afford a nice version of that, so. There you yeah. go. Well, Ed, you're still awake. Yes, yeah, and I mean, this was an interesting journey, right, because I'm, used to driving cars with every light on and things that don't work and no modern features and I had the opposite of that and I certainly see that car's place in the world, right? I mean, there are people that want to have Bluetooth audios and buttons and sensors and cameras and stuff. But normal I people. don't want that. The uselessness of my normal cars is the charm that makes these journeys so much more fun. And yeah. so I you wanted my Ferrari, really. I don't, no, even your no. Ferrari is too electric. I want my Mercies. I want my old cars. I mean, I okay. know it makes me sound old and it probably is because I am, but I just, I, I'm not ready old. for it yet. <laughs> well, I've been two seven of the last 10 car weeks over the last decade or so, and this is the best car that I have ever brought. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> you know, your car looks really good from here. Thank uh, you. It sounds awesome. Thank and you. And you actually won a few things, I did. Right? I did. I did. I beat the kid racing. Yes! Yes! Woo! Congratulations, you beat a kid. Good. You know, somebody yeah. had to. So I won the appraisal for the first time 
ever, I think. $123,456. One, two, three, four, five, six. I say I applaud you. I applaud you. I've never yeah. been yeah. in a better financial position buying cars before. That's very weird. And then also the car swap, Carrera GT. So that's two. What are yours? Uh, well, my car went the fastest. Go! <laughs> That was 150 miles an hour! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rocket ship! And it also won people's choice. It so the people fun. here liked it more than both of your cars. It also failed the inspection. It did right. not. So you're gonna go ahead and take care of that, right? Yeah. Before you hit the track? Uh-huh. It yes. failed. It was an asterisk, okay? It was a little it asterisk, failed. and I fixed it. And I did better on the track versus the kid. If Much. I hadn't spun, I would have won. I held him off. You were always behind. I didn't care about my $14,000 bumper, I would have beat him oh, easily. Please. Hold on, I'm getting a text from Auto Tempest. It says, you've made it to another Car Trek finish line, gentlemen, congratulations. Yes, Tyler, you won two things, and Freddie, you did as well. However, only one of you chose to not absolutely tear the rule book into pieces, and therefore, <laughs> Tyler Weens. Tyler There's weans. a lot of ease in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I haven't said that I'm yet. I'm gonna go by all means, that way. By all means. Walk into the seat. Ooh, hold on, another text. And Tyler, in honor of your latest win, we have arranged for you to drive a car even more special than any of those you've found so far at Car Week. Something truly priceless. And a 275 and a Carrera GT. What's price? What's a priceless car at Monterey Car Week? I mean, there's auctions every single day here proving yeah. the total opposite, that everything's got a price. But you're off to some fabulous yes. experience. I'm off to list that thing on Auto Tempest. And uh, you can sit here and reflect on your mistakes. Wrench every day. It never gets any better. So that sore winner was Tyler Hoover. The giraffe in the blue coat was Ed Bullion. And I'm Freddy Savars Hernandez, and this was Car Trek. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna walk into the ocean. It's the other way. Oh yeah. Now this is special. Wow. This is a real car. It was made by Mercedes in 1970. It is called the C111. And it's one of my all time dream cars. And now I get to drive it. Now, this was designed by a young Bruno Sacco, a legendary Mercedes designer who pinned so many great designs, but at this time, he wanted to make something that was as pretty as the Mira, a mid-engine exotic from Mercedes, and he knocked it out of the park. But unfortunately, it never made production. This was just an experimental car designed to test new engines with Mercedes, including ones that I have in my current Hoopty fleet, including the 617 Mercedes five-cylinder turbo diesel. They set a record in this car for diesel engine and speed 64 hours straight averaging over 150 miles per hour all at once using several drivers with a car just like this and then they took a v8 put a turbo on it and went 400 kph the first time a mercedes had gone over 250 miles per hour in one of these they only made about a dozen of these and what do survive they were never sold to the public and they are pretty much priceless. People have wanted to buy them and Mercedes has said, uh-uh, we ain't selling. So really a priceless car. That Mercedes Classic is letting me drive. They are totally nuts, but come look at this thing. It is kind of a hoopty. So this was just a test car, more or less a race car. So they really didn't finish it out like you would see in a normal Mercedes as far as the fit and finish. The vinyl and the fittings kind of crude. The windows are glued in and they don't really open. So you need air conditioning to stay cool in this car. Unfortunately, this one is temporarily broken, but it is running fantastic. Like I said, this car was an experimental platform for several different engines, starting with a four rotor Wankel rotary engine. Wankel is a German guy who invented the rotary engine, but it didn't work for Mercedes. So they swapped it out with diesels and several different V8s, which is what this has, a 3.5 liter V8, which we're gonna try out right now. Whoa, okay. 
a, a deep sill there. This is definitely race car like the going. All right. I fit though, I think. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I fit. Kind of. And the guy doing yoga here is Michael, chief mechanic at Mercedes Classic. He's gonna ride along with me so I don't break anything too badly. Start a fire, which there's a big fire suppression system back there, just in case. Here it is. <laughs> that burbly Mercedes V8 in the back. I never thought I'd ever hear that in my life. <laughs> and with a dog leg manual transmission. This is so cool. Okay, button down. There we go. Dog leg and the priceless car pulls out into traffic and almost has an accident right off the bat. There we go. Well, I've seen pictures of this thing on the old Mercedes test track when it's sideways on the wall, the test track with the other cars, you know, advertising the new diesels and such, and never seen one in person before. Never imagined I'd be driving it. I mean, this is, this is incredible. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is amazing. The speed limit here is unfortunately 35 miles an hour, so I can't go 150 or 250 miles an hour in this thing, but I can imagine. Oh. I mean, for a prototype race car, test car, it drives really well. I guess that's to your credit, huh? It's like a serial car. Yeah, we could just drive this cross country if we wanted to. Yeah, the car was ready for production. And then they just decided not to do it. Just crazy. But a lot of familiar things. I mean, the gauge is sort of familiar. The steering wheel, not quite like, but very similar to the 70s and 80s Mercedes steering wheel. The same horn. And then pop-up headlights, right? Yeah. They work? Yeah, yeah, is it this? It works. Yeah, it works. Oh, that is so cool. Just an amazing thing to experience right now. A piece of Mercedes and car history and I'm driving it on one of the most beautiful roads in the world, Pebble Beach. <laughs> well, are you sure you guys won't sell it? How much? I'll trade you a Ferrari for it. All right, Sonny, let's sell us an R8. Off to Auto Tempest. This incredible car will offer you the most exhilarating buying experience that you could possibly imagine. Without question, it is the most exciting color, there we go, a supercar could be. If you want to stand out in the crowd of other daily driver cars at the supermarket, there we go, then look no further. That ought to do it. Oh, you're still here? Well, in that case, why don't you go subscribe to the Auto Tempest YouTube channel? They've got some grassroots motorsports content. They're gonna have some updates on some of the other content like Car Trek that they support. And you may get to learn a little bit more about Car Trek 10 before we release it as our Christmas special. So be sure to check them out to thank them for their support of Vinwicky, Tavarish, Hoovy's Garage, and of course, Car Trek. Have a great night. <laughs>